Hello and welcome to yet another episode of uh, Kitty is actually pretty friendly to tiling, whatever you think tiling is actually. So I really wanted to make a quick video to showcase how much you can use tiling into Kitty Plasma. Now there are various different levels of tiling, like there's people who go to full tiling window managers like i3 or Awesome. That's a pretty nice way to do to do tiling in my opinion and I've never actually used them but I do see their point and uh, I would even consider using them if I wasn't so you know a big fan of Kitty Plasma after all. But it's not just that. Uh, take PopOS as an example. They do have these uh, tiling extensions, we could, uh, extension singular we could call it, that you can enable and, and disable that directly works inside of Matter if I understand that correctly. And we do have something like that for KD Plasma too. And finally, KD Plasma is, I think, one of the very few desktops, if not the only desktop, that is by default out of the box a floating desktop environment, but it has now built in tiling support. So let's go through all of these things so that we have a nice showcase of all the tiling features. And the first thing is, Yes, I've talked about i3 and Awesome. Did you know that you can actually use them, especially i3, I don't know that much about Awesome. You can use them with KD Plasma. And yes, the idea of a tiling window manager is usually to be minimalistic and such, but you know, if you're learning i3 and you're not ready maybe to switch um, out of KD Plasma because you know it so well and it's a friendly environment, anything, you can still use i3 whilst using Plasma. I've actually done this one time, these are the instructions on how to do it. When I tried to, it worked, but again, I never used i3, which means that I'm not exactly sure how it worked. So I just could see that it boot and I had my KD Plasma panel and that was about it. So if you're interested in how to use like another window manager in Plasma, you can just throw Kwin out of the window and everything should still work nicely. You just have to follow these instructions that you can find on this nice link here. All of this is provided without any guarantee from me that it works because I just tried it a lot of time ago, but back then it worked. So yeah, you can use it, go ahead. Secondly, there is adding some tiling extension to Kwin, which is the default window manager for KD Plasma. And I've actually done that. I've actually spent years using a tiling window manager for KD Plasma because I, I liked it so much. I, I was very big, uh, a very big fan of tiling, but that kind of tiling that it's built into floating window manager for some reason, I, I just liked it. So how do you do that? Now, there are a couple of different ways. Let me pick the, the first one. One thing you can do is to open system settings. Then you can go into workspace behavior, sorry, window management, Kwin scripts, and underneath my head, there is this get new scripts button, which will open this pop-up. And if you go through all the scripts, there's a lot of things that are not related to tiling that you might find useful. And a lot of things that are related to tiling, like this case zones is already a bit related, but we'll get to fancy zones later. But we also get a lot of full tiling. As an example, I think I, showcased exquisite in the past, a very nice uh, script, but there's more like window gaps I've previously used for a while. Cronkite was quite famous, but it got uh, a bit, um, it's not developed anymore, I think. And then I think I used, the, uh, back then I used one of the older uh, tiling, which was just called tiling extensions. So you could do just that out of the box and that's already, a lot of tiling possibilities that you can explore, but there's another project that I really want to showcase, which is Bismuth. So Bismuth is still an extension, but it builds tiling inside of Kwin in a much prettier way, I think, compared to other project. And first of all, it does that by actually adding a new section to the system settings. So you don't have that section of before, you have a brand new section, which is just called window tiling and you got all the options there. Funnily enough, I do have this installed, but on the other computer, so I don't have it here with me right now, but it does work and it does work nicely. 
we can see a couple of videos on how it's showcased by the website itself and you know it's tiling it has window shortcuts and this kind of things you can select some patterns to display windows it's a super interesting project so even if you're not 100 3d to switch to a full window tiling manager then just go with this thirdly i mentioned the fact that now kdi has tiling built into kwin itself and i've done a video entirely about that but now it actually landed so yay so let's quickly go through what's new and um, some new things that I didn't know about in the last video and what's the future for tiling in KD Plasma. So this is taken from Nate Graham's blog of point test stick, which you should all follow. If you don't, I, I think you do. And he talks about the fact that the tiling features landed. If you want to explore a bit more the thoughts behind them, there's uh, also the blog from Marco Martin the developer who actually implemented this and how it works is basically that you have this new screen that you can trigger with a shortcut which looks like this and you have the possibility to customize some zones of the areas of your screen you can split them horizontally vertically you can resize them you can even make some areas uh, floating this kind of things and when you're done, you get out of the screen, that screen where you just set the general uh, layout of that screen. And then just by drag and dropping a window whilst holding the shift key, the window will always automatically tile inside that area. So it's very similar to the idea of fancy uh, zones in Windows, I think it's called. You also get some areas built in via this nice pop-up and you can customize how much margin you want between the windows and also the window and the screen. So a nice implementation. It also has a very nice thing for all users, even if you're not into KDE tiling. So out of the box now, you know that you have some shortcuts to tile a window to the left and to the right, or even if you drag and drop the title, title bar to the complete left or complete right. If you do that, it will tile left or right. Now, if you have two windows tiled so that they cover the entire screen and you resize one of them, previously you just resized that one and that would mean that it would either cover the other one or it would be too small. Now, both windows actually resize at the same time because they're tiled together, which is a super nice feature that I accidentally showcased in my last tiling video because I didn't know it was a feature and I just discovered it whilst filming. Nice. And this is what we have currently for KDE tiling. So what is the future for tiling in KDE Plasma? Well, I think that this tiling feature that we've seen in uh, built into KWIN, it's not like super full tiling with keyboard shortcuts and everything, but that's the whole point. That was not the idea. However, this new feature does expose an API to the KWIN scripts, which means that these scripts, like BSmooth as an example, could make use of this new API to extend on the functionality of this built-in new tiling that should, by the way, arrive in the next KD Plasma version, that is 5.27. So even if you are not a fan of this new implementation, really it wasn't meant to be full tiling or anything, you can still write an extension to extend its functionality, which is just cool. I mean, wow, <laughs> this is the power of KD Plasma after all. And that's everything. So congrats to everybody involved, the developer of Bismuth, Crunkit, all of this nice extension. And of course, Marco for the new functionality in tiling that is built in Kwin. And um, I do like tiling, so I'm very happy to see that there is a significant progress in this area. Thanks for following along and see you tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah.